What's up, guys? So, we're just getting the, uh, we just got the booster back from uh, Dewey Booster Exchange over there in uh, Oregon. And uh, it took about a month for it to come back and, you know, get rebuilt and all that. So, we're just going to check it out here and see. Let's see, let's grab this thing right here. Ooh. Brand new painted. Wow. I took this to them. It was like full of dirt. It was just, it was a wreck. But wow, look at this thing. Brand new. This is actually the cost of the booster. 175 plus the shipping. 64 Galaxy. So not a bad price on the rebuild, especially when, you know, these guys are the experts when it comes to rebuilding these boosters. So it's really not a bad price. Um, I'm really glad I went this route because I've, I've heard many uh, bad reviews and just not very good uh, experiences with those boosters that you order from like eBay or whatever, you know basically any Chinese booster it's got the rod in there uh, let me see so this is the master cylinder I got it a uh, 1.12 this was recommended by uh, Wilwood since I'll be using uh, four uh, well, with this brakes on the front and back with a booster so this thing is massive this thing is huge you could keep a lot of brake fluid in that thing so there you go the Wilwood master cylinder also got the proportioning valve it's got the brake sensor here in the front which is really cool which my galaxy uses I guess it's just a bracket so yeah let's install this stuff see how it goes there you go this is what it looks all put together with the booster check out the uh, proportioning valve there it looks really cool it's gonna come out really nice all we have to do now is connect all the all the uh, lines and we should be good to go so these rear calipers, they require a 1 8 and 27 NPT inlet. So uh, in other words, it's a, a 1 8 27 or a 1 8 uh, male and a 1 uh, 3 16 female. So I found this one on eBay. It's a 90 degree. And I uh, just put some Teflon tape. I still have to thread it in. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the lines. I'm gonna show you guys how I do the the brake lines. I bought some stainless steel 316 also from eBay. And yeah, we're gonna do it. Let's do the brake lines. All right, guys. So this is one line that's done. This one was a bit more difficult because of how long it was. Um, but I didn't use any tools to shape it, you know, I just did it by hand and it didn't come out too bad. So this little small one over here, I'm going to show you guys how I do it just in case uh, you guys want to do your own brake lines, then uh, you can just, uh, you know, follow my, my little video here, my steps and do it yourself. So this one should be a lot easier. It's just uh, going down from here and then 90 degree all the way up to here. So a little short one, so let's do it.
All right, guys, so this is what you want right here. This is what's called a double flare. And this is optimal for all the, the brake lines. So that little machine I had, it was kind of expensive and uh, I decided just to get it because uh, those little like AutoZone, those rental type, they don't work for me, so. You can see how perfect these flares are. So let's put this one on. All right, guys, as you can see, we're putting back the rear end and the whole uh, bottom of the car here is in port 15, which came out really nice. Check that out. So you just gotta put the front bushings and uh, with the rear shackles. That should be it. Rear end should be back in. Nice. Also picked up the rear shocks. These are KYBs. And here's a part number for it. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about our part numbers in all the videos. So from now on, I'm gonna really try and include the part numbers in the uh, description below. So if you're interested in the parts, all the part numbers will be in the description. That's how they look like. KYB has always had like very nice shocks. So there you go. It comes with the hardware too, which is really cool. So we're gonna install these as well. Let's do it. All right, so there you guys go. The rear end is back in. Everything is bolted down. Um, I didn't record the installation of the rear shocks. I thought it was pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing I will say is the hardware that it came with, uh, this part here was too short. So the old one was a bit longer by a couple inches. So I didn't want to change anything. So I just decided to use the old hardware that I had already. Um, this is the point where the top of the shock mounts so I'm not sure if that will create a big difference if you decide to go with the old ones, but I don't want to change anything. So there you go, just a heads up. But uh, yeah, Galaxy's coming along great. It's back on the rear tires. And if you guys like the content, please like the video, subscribe. And there you go. Galaxy's coming along. Hopefully uh, we get to work on the engine next. Thanks, guys.